Yo, what is good, fellas, and hope you boys are all having a fantastic day. Today, we're talking about the best free legends to pick up and add to your team in Madden 25. Now, this is a video we update every single Saturday, and I get it. It might not be your free legend weekend. The way you actually claim these free legend cards, you come on over here, you go down to solo challenges, you play your solo challenges, you unlock tokens, and you exchange your tokens in sets. This weekend is a little bit unique. It is currently the Blitz promo. During the Blitz promo, we see a bunch of special offers. Now, have the special offers been good so far? I mean, that's up in the air, but I do expect to see some fire legend special offers. And anytime we see some really good special offers drop in the store, the market and the price for those cards, specifically in the pack, it's gonna go down into the gutter. I expect to see at some point this weekend some really good legend offers. And anytime we see, you know, those really good offers, I expect the legend market specifically to be down in the gutter. So yeah, it might not be your free legend weekend. Honestly, last weekend was my free legend pick. I went with Chad Johnson, been really good for me. But you should be able to pick up some of these cards this weekend specifically for the low. Now, the LTDs, they're not going to be included on the actual list, but we will talk about them at the end of the video. So you Brian Arakpo and Adrian Peterson fanboys like myself, don't worry, stay tuned. Number 10, we got a card that I absolutely hate. I think there are nine cards on this video that I actually like, and you had to put somebody in at number 10. It's going to be Ozzy News, some of the 6 foot 2, 90 speed tight end six foot two 90 speed tight end it's not good it's not great he's got 71 run blocking there is nothing on this card i actually enjoy to look at or i even want to use sometimes i look at a card and i'm like damn that dude's nice i look at this card and go damn ea why did you give me this 90 speed 91 catch he's got decent route running 89 medium like okay after the catch he has 87 juke move is another nice thing you could say about this card but other than that Ozzy Newsome, he's the 10th best legend, but I think there are only nine you should even consider. And number nine, like I said, is where the list actually starts. And Dwight Freeney is one of those players that if you've been eyeing to pick up, today might be the time to do it. 89 speed, 91 excel, 86 block shed, 92 finesse move, and 79 power move, six foot one, 268 pounds. 89 speed off the edge is top tier speed. I believe he's tied for the second fastest edge rusher in the game. Yes, there are a lot of players that have 89 speed, but like 89 speed, it's 89 speed. It's going to create issues. This card's going to be good. And if you want a budget or value player, Dwight Freeney can be your guy. Over the last few weeks, we've had Kevin Mawe and David Castro back to back for as long as I can pretty much remember. David Castro is off the list. We got a better guard today, but Kevin Mawe is still hanging up here at number eight. It's a center. He's the best legend center we have. Should you use your BND tokens on him? Absolutely not, but you should go buy him from the store if you want to update your center. Now, should you upgrade your center? I don't necessarily think you need to, but if you want to, you're overall hunting or you run a Jets theme team, by all means, this card is going to be good. 90 strength, 89 pass block, 90 run blocking, 6 foot 4, 289 pounds. My favorite part about the legend offensive linemen. They do offer up another boost to legends. Always boost is plus one block shedding. Is it crazy good? I don't know, but it's there if you want it. On top of that, he can play left and right guard for you. I think he only played for the New York Jets. I'm spamming my B button by accident. I actually want to see this. New York Jets, Seattle Seahawks, and Tennessee Titans. You learn something new every day. Kevin's coming in at number eight. At number seven, I got Amon Green. This is a very good running back card. The running back position is starting to fill out with some really top tier players. Amon Green is definitely not that top tier, but I do think he's a low A tier card and, you know, that's a pretty solid player to pick up, especially if you are running that budget or value team this weekend during the Blitz promo will be your time to pick him up. 91 speed, 90 excel, 86 agility, 90 carry, decent catching at 79 with 85 change of direction, 90 truck and 89 break tackle. He's got 88 juke, 90 stiff arm, 81 spin, and 78 short route running. Reason I mentioned that 78 short route running, running back apprentice, you need 77. In my opinion, this is the most important ability to run on your running back. I throw the ball to my running back a ton. Texas routes, wheel routes, corner routes, and post routes all from your halfback. It's a good time. For those of you who have used Fred Taylor, the 90 overall legend, Amon Green is basically just a better Fred Taylor in every single avenue. And hey, He's a good card. At number six, I got a player I have literally never heard of until he ended up in Madden. And well, now he is my starting middle linebacker. Shout out Ultimate Team, I guess, for giving me more ball knowledge. 
Randy Gratishar. 90 speed, 92 excel, 92 tackle, 91 play rec, 87 block shed, 88 hit power, only 78 zone coverage, but he is 6'3", 233 pounds. I've only had good things to say about this card. I've used him picked him up about this last week or so and it's been a really good time 90 speed six foot three i mean it doesn't get much better than that i mean it does but not at that price point 180,000 coins yeah this card's good but the best 91 overall legend is still going to be ty law defensive backs it's important to have multiple good dbs on your team and ty law is still one of the better dbs in the game i'd call him like a high a tier card he's got that top tier speed at 92 with 91 excel 91 jumping 90 man 87 zone and 86 press coverage now there are a few things just wrong with this game one of them zone drops they just don't work you can have the best defensive backs in the game and they're just not going to play right it's just a thing in this game that we've kind of had to adapt with but giving yourself the best possible chances to actually get stopped by having top tier dbs in the game you need to do it ty law 511 might get dunked on but so is everyone else this card better be on your team or maybe not he's not on my team but it is still a very good card number four i got mean joe green defense tackle for the pittsburgh steelers 85 speed i'm sorry i have never watched mean joe green play but you're telling me he was moving at 85 madden speed just don't believe it they juice up mean joe green cards heavy not complaining whatsoever just kind of like all right ea we get it you like this guy 89 excel 91 strength 90 tackle 88 play rec 90 block shit 91 power move and 83 finesse move six foot four 275 pounds he's got 75 jumping 78 change of direction it's a defensive tackle with 85 speed. I don't value the DT position that much. Still an important position to be good at, but like, there are better players on this list. There are better positions on this list coming up here on out. And Mean Joe Green's coming in at four. It's definitely a good play. Uh, number three, if you guys watched last week's video, this was number one. So the two legends we got today, they're top tier players. I got Chad Johnson. I did use my tokens on him. I don't regret the decision at all because this card is good. I wish I waited. It's chill. 92 speed, 89 jump, 90 catching, 91 short, 90 medium, and 89 deep route running. Six foot one, 192 pounds. After the catch, he's looking at 91 juke, 90 spin. Don't stiff arm with them. 75 stiff arm, definitely not the greatest. But Chad Johnson, really good card. For whatever reason, these six foot one wide receivers just run some insanely good routes. And well, Chad Johnson, looking at his height, he's six foot one. Now, number one and two has actually been the hardest decision I've had to make on these videos all year. I'm going with Night Train Lane at number two. It is, like I just said, the closest these two cards, I guess from number one and two, have been all year. Top tier player right here, 92 speed, 90 excel, 88 agility, 92 jump, 91 man, 89 zone, and 89 press coverage. Six foot one, 194 pounds. His card art hasn't even loaded in. Currently selling for a little bit too many coins for my liking, but if you have your tokens, right now is a great time to use them. This card is good, and I value the DB position heavy. We've been seeing so many defensive backs drop, and every time we see a DB drop, they're all just nuts. We also have Ty Law, who has the same speed, similar coverages. I know, I know Night Train's a little bit better when it comes to the coverages, but they have the same speed. He does have three inches on him, and that does, you know, that does do a lot, but uh, I don't know. We get a lot of good DBs. Night Train's coming in at number two. One, though, if you didn't guess already, offense alignment. Anytime you can lock in a game breaking, it's, it's an offense alignment. Let's, let's slow down with the big thumbnail title words, game breaking insane. It's a left guard. It's a pretty damn good left guard, 92 strength, 90 pass block, and 92 run blocking, 6 foot 5. Dude, this is like a small forward. And then he's got that center weight at 316 pounds. Shout out Zach Eady. The best part about this card, he does offer up plus one man coverage to all legends. So this is going to be a player you're going to pick up and have on your team until the legend cards are completely outdated. Plus one man is by far the best boost we have seen, whether it's an AKA offense alignment, a legend offense alignment, this is the best one. And I mean, Allen, Feneca, Pittsburgh, Steeler, New York Jet, and Arizona Cardinal legend. It's going to be a good card. Right guard as well. You know, plus one man. It's a 92 overall left guard. You can lock him in as a B and D and I'm here for it. I'm curious to see his price. 
and he is cheaper than Night Train Lane, so maybe the market isn't agreeing with me, but I do think this is the best legend to add to your team today. Now, quickly talking about the LTDs, there's only one Legend Limited Time I actually like, and it's Adrian Peterson. This card dropped last week, and I could not stop glazing this guy. He was just like, dude, this is the greatest thing ever. Good speed, good everything. There wasn't something on this card that I'm like, damn, that kind of blows. Every other Legend has something that I'm like, damn, that kind of blows. I'm a Commanders fan, and I don't have any desire to pick up 88 speed, 93 overall Brian Arakpo. 93 finesse, or that's power move, not finesse. He's got 83 finesse, 94 excel, 91 strength. It's going to be a good card. Don't get that twisted. The legend LT, oh, okay. So he's slightly flying out of packs. Is 1.65 still a good price to pay for an outside linebacker? Absolutely not, but it is there if you want it. There isn't a 92 overall legend LTD that I like. Larry Wilson can't play man coverage. Heinz Ward is slow. Pretty sure he's got 91 speed. Go use Chad Johnson for a fraction of the price. And the other, we only had two 92s, I guess, but the 91s all did get Redux this last week. So if you want to use them, go use them. I don't think you need to. Fellas, with that all said, those are the top 10 best legends to pick up and add to your team. If you get this video to 75 likes before 9 p.m. tonight, I will give away whatever the $20 Blitz offer is over on my Twitter. So go down there and hammer the like button. On top of all that, if you guys are new here and you clearly... Mm, on top of all of that, if you guys made it this far, you clearly like me. And if you aren't subscribed, dude, what are you doing? We're on the road to 3K. Help me get there. I promise three videos a day, every single day covering all things Madden Ultimate Team. So if that sounds good to you, you're in the right place. Last thing, I am not going to be home at 9 p.m. tonight. I know I said I'll do a giveaway. I'll still do the giveaway, but I'm not going to be home. So later today, you'll see an updates video. There are a lot of updates that need to be talked about. It should be a good episode, but stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your Saturday. Go Vols, dude. Hopefully we beat Vandy by 90.